It's Michaela. This is Love Michaela, a podcast where I talk about literally anything and everything I want to. As you can tell, I don't have my voice back still. Um, and that is because if you didn't see any updates on YouTube, because that's the only place I really updated. I don't know if you can update on Spotify or not. Like, you know, you can do like a community post on YouTube. Um, yes, as you can tell, I'm sick. So I'm running out of time to not record. And so today is the day I just got to do it. Even if I don't have my full voice back. I don't know when it's going to come back. It's been, uh, today is a week since I've gotten sick. Yeah. So I'm just going to talk about being sick because what I wanted to do is not going to work out. And I don't think this is going to be that long of a podcast because obviously I don't even know if it's going to sound good. Like people will want to listen to this because of my voice. It sounds gross. Um, and I don't know how long my voice is going to last, unfortunately. So if I pull away to cough, it is what it is. I can't, I can't help that. Sorry. Yeah. And if you hate this, don't, don't listen to it. If it's hurting your ears and you're like, wow, your voice sounds awful. I know, (laughs) but I have to get something out in order to keep my schedule. So I decided instead of talking about what I planned to talk about, which was faking it till you make it. And then I thought, oh, let me do the one where I thought, let me do the one where, um, I was going to talk about how acting changed my life again, because I've talked about it a little bit before, but not to like the extent that I want to. Um, but I thought that might take too long too. And so I decided I'm just going to talk about being sick and, uh, how I got sick, what I've been up to and, um, what I've done to try to help myself get better. I'm not a medical professional in any capacity. These are all just like things that my mom has done when I was growing up or my bachan has done or things I looked up and I was like, that might work. And I tried it and I was like, I think it helped. This is not medical advice. Please don't take this as medical advice. This is just me saying what worked for me. Maybe because I'm still not even fully recovered and my voice still isn't even fully back. It normally doesn't take this long to get back. So I'm kind of surprised. But um, my job requires me to use my voice a lot. And so that probably affected it. And then um, I also just can't stop talking. I can't shut up. (laughs) So... (laughs) I'm trying, but, and then I have to record this. So if I sound bad in, if you watch my gaming stuff too, and you're not just listening or you don't just watch my stuff on YouTube, that's podcasts, um, then you will see that I probably sound like this in my gaming video too, because I have to record it this week just because I'm still sick. Sorry. I'm not still sick. I'm getting over it. Like I can tell I'm at the tail end of it, thankfully. Um, my mom was like, go to the doctor. And I'm like, at this point, there's not really a point in me going to the doctor. They're just going to tell me, oh, you're almost over it. Bye. Like, it's just, it's a waste of time and money. So I'm not going to go do that. If I still sound like this come next week, then yeah, maybe I'll go to the doctor and be like, hey, can we fix this? Or like, is what should I be doing right now? I don't have time to be sick. I don't have time to be sick. I don't have time to sound like this. This is awful. I've got like um, song covers that I need to get done this month before next month one of them I can wait on till the middle of December because I don't need it done until the end of December but the other one's beginning so I'm like I don't know what I'm gonna do about that um if I sound better enough then I might do like a little vlog or like I guess process video of how I make my English covers I might I don't know we'll see but yeah this episode sorry and I'm really rambly I still have not full brain fog but I'm just like not fully I'm not working at 100% capacity. I'm like in my t-shirt. <laughs> like I don't have my hair done. I just did my makeup. Yeah. So, how did I get sick? Well, my I have a few guesses. I don't know what it was. Either. It's really bad allergies. My allergies are awful. If I don't take Claritin and I'm going outside... It used to be I had to take Claritin anytime I was going to go like outside during... I don't know what that was. Anytime I was going to go outside during like peak pollen time, I had to take Claritin or I was going to be miserable. Um, And then when we started masking up, that wasn't a problem anymore because I was masked up. And I still do that when I go out because I really mostly only go out to 
shop or to go to work and I work around kids and it's a lot of kids and some of them don't fully know yet to cover their mouth when they're coughing or sneezing or you know some of them aren't the best at washing their hands every time they use the restroom or lick their hands or you know it gets gross so and that's okay they have time to learn that they're still learning they're still learning how to be little humans but just to protect myself and it's just a lot of it's just a lot of people Um, And so to protect myself, I just wear a mask. So either it was allergies. My allergies are really bad. They're normally not too bad now because I mask most of the time. But I didn't wear a mask to go and grab some donuts that I got for the kids um, on Halloween. Because I was, I made an online order. And so I thought I would just walk into the store, grab it, and then come back out. And I had like, I, I don't know, I should have worn the mask, but I didn't because I'm dumb and it was I don't think it was that like I don't think I got sick just because I didn't wear the mask but I think I got sick because I didn't wear the mask and it was Santa Ana winds my allergies are so bad and so I think that just really messed everything up and then I looked up like oh can allergies make you sick and it's like no not directly because it's a virus but your allergies can make everything like inflamed like it can cause inflammation and make everything irritated which can make it easier for things to get trapped in sinuses and places that it's not supposed to be, which can then lead to an infection and cause you to be sick. So that's one option. Should have worn my mask when I went out. That's on me. Should have taken my Claritin. That's on me. And my suspicion behind that is because I was feeling kind of like everything felt irritated, like sinus and nasal cavity wise that day after I'd gone out for the little bit that I didn't have the mask on. And, um, then the next day is the day that I woke up and I was like, oh, I don't feel good. Not that I didn't feel good. It was just, I had a sore throat and I was like, "Mm, this isn't great. Um, so that's one option. My second option is my sister got me sick. She visited for Halloween weekend because her friends were throwing a party and basically all of her friends are her friends that she kept from high school till now. And they all basically live in our hometown she's like one of the only ones who doesn't live in our hometown like there's like I think two others in their group that don't live here anymore and um so she came up from San Diego to visit and hang out with her friends and I guess she was sick I didn't know that she was sick but when I told her I was like oh yeah I'm sick right now she was like oh no did I give it to you and I was like what were you sick and she's like well I had this and this and I was like I guess I kind of have something similar so there's that. Uh, if you see cuts in this and you're watching the video, it's because I'm cutting out when I cough or when I'm getting water to soothe my throat and <laughs> keep things not too bad. The third option is the grossest option. And I don't even know if it's, it's just, this is not even like, like my other stuff, I'm like, oh yeah, that kind of makes sense that those things would make me sick. But this option, I don't know how it would make me sick, but I just saw it and I was like, is that what made me sick? Or maybe what made it worse? Like maybe I was already sick and then this made it worse. Um, I was drinking, uh, there's this tea, I'm going to talk about it later too anyway. There's this tea called Mugicha, or at least that's what I call it. And I think that's the Japanese name for it. It's like a barley tea thing. Anyway, we have this one where it's like a big satch, sachet. Is that what it's called? It's not a satchel. That's a bag. Sachet. You put it in like a quart. Not a quart. It's more than that. You put it in a big container. Like if you're making like Kool-Aid or orange juice or lemonade or something, you put it in a big container. You put water and then you put the stuff in like one of those containers and then you fill it with water and then you put the sachet in for like a half you're supposed to only leave it in for like a half hour and then you take it out and then you have like a thing a pitcher of tea for like a little while and I think you're probably only supposed to keep it for like a week max maybe two weeks if you're really pushing it you don't leave the sachet in there also I made the mistake listen when I'm making tea sometimes I forget we forget it happens and when I was making this tea, I left it in, like, the longest I'd ever left it in was, it's supposed to be in there for a half hour, I'd left it in for, like, an hour before at a time, and I was like, oh no, this time I left it overnight, so I don't know if that affected it. I kept this mugicha for a while, longer than I should have, left the sachet in for longer than I should have initially, and also used my fingers to get it out. All of these could be factors to this issue, which is the gross issue, which is, uh, there was mold in there in the container that had the mugicha in it and I drank it without knowing there was mold in there 
So that could also be why I was sick. I don't know. My mom got really nervous when I told her I found mold in it because I only found it literally two days ago. And I drank it while I was sick. So that's definitely not helpful. But my mom was nervous because she looked at me. She was like, it says you have to like go to the hospital like if you're vomiting and dizzy and all that blah, 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 blah. And I was like, I didn't have any of that. I just thought like, oh, maybe that contributed to my sickness because I really thought I'd be over this cold by... Like, I thought it would only last a couple days because the last time I got sick, because I don't get sick as much now since I mask all the time. Like, like last time I got sick like this, where it was I had a sore throat and then I was sneezing, not sneezing, but I was blowing my nose a lot, you know, that kind of a thing. Um, and then, oh, and I tested and it's not COVID. Uh, the last time that this happened, I got sick, but it only lasted like three or five days and I didn't lose my voice like I did this time. So I really thought I would be done with this by now, but I'm not. So I don't know if it was a combination of those things. I don't know if it was only one of those things or if like it was allergies and then the mold made it worse and my sister made it worse. Like, I don't know. But those are my options. I don't know (laughs) what happened, but here I am. Still no voice. I think the gaming video that goes up after this, the one before this I was able to record before I got like sick, sick and lost my voice. But the next one that's coming up after this, I might still not have a voice in it. Uh, We'll see. It depends on if I get my voice back in the next couple days or not, which I honestly don't think I will. But I I might. Maybe I'll wake up tomorrow and I'll be fine. Who's to say? I don't know. Talked about how I got sick. Talked about the fact that I've been sick. Next on the agenda, which is basically the rest of this episode, is uh, I'm going to talk about the stuff that works for me, which is why I said in the beginning this is not medical advice. I'm not a doctor. I've never studied medicine. This is just stuff that I do that helps me. It's mostly basic stuff. So like, this is stuff that I think helps me. And maybe the little reminder will be helpful for you too. I don't know. It is that time of year. Well, it is the most wonderful time of the year. It's also the time of the year where a lot of people are getting sick. So here are the things that work for me. Um, Rest. Lots of rest. Don't feel guilty. Rest. Sleep. So many naps. I took so many naps. Especially the like, not the first day or the first two days, but like those those few middle days where you're really feeling it, you gotta rest. Your body really needs it. I mean, if you can rest in the first few days, do it. Rest as much as you can and as much as your schedule allows. Like, I know people are working full-time jobs or you're going to school or whatever, you know, as much as you can stay home and rest to your best of your ability, please do that. And don't I'm guilty of this because I got bored in the middle. Don't try to do too much work from home if you are staying home. Like, really take that time to rest. And rest can be being on your phone or being on the TV, watching something on the TV, you know. But if you start to feel tired, let your body sleep. Your body is trying to tell you that it needs to sleep for a reason. So please take that time to rest. I took so many naps. I just laid and did nothing. Like, I watched streams twitch streams and youtube videos and netflix and well not netflix but i watched k dramas on vicky and like anime and stuff like i just watched and did whatever tiktok um took off my limit i have a one hour limit on that app because i will get stuck on there for hours if i don't i took it off for while i was sick so you know just rest and then let your body sleep in between whenever it needs to um fluids you need fluids this is all basic stuff you really do need fluids so like keep your body as hydrated as you can and that means water drink lots of water if you're like me and you're a drink girly and you're also like me and you like sweet things you can have the little sweet treat like my when I was growing up I didn't do this this time because we don't have any orange juice but like the sick drink that my mom would always make was like Sprite or 7-Up and then orange juice I don't know why I feel like that's mostly a for when you're like stomach flu sick like nauseous sick but even when we didn't have that like if we were just like cold sick then she would still make that for us um so if you want to have that have a little bit of that but also have a bigger glass of water with you all the time um for me I had a big glass of water at all times and then my like sweeter treat drink I had this drink um it's a Japanese drink called Polkati Sweat it's basically like a Gatorade but it's a lemon lime flavor. I don't know if it has more or less sugar. I honestly don't know. And I don't have the like 
we actually do have the big pre-packaged one, but you can get like a, in a powder form. And so I know like how many tablespoons of that I want to add to the amount of liquid in the certain cup that I was using. So I always had that with me and it just keeps you extra hydrated basically. Um, and then honey water is really good. Like you just have warm water. If you have a tea kettle, this is especially good. Keep that thing going at all times. Keep it warm at all times. And either have tea or you can do honey water, which is just water with honey in it. That's exactly what it sounds like. It's it helps soothe your it helps soothe your throat and um and it tastes pretty good and it's just it's nice and it's warm so it, it feels nice. And then just tea. What I did recently, which I should have been doing from the beginning, but I only did it recently, was ginger tea. I had two kinds. I have a Korean one. It has walnuts in it. I don't know what it's called and I don't have it with me. I have some stuff with me, but I don't have that with me. Sorry. Um, and then I also had a Chinese one that was ginger tea with honey in it. The Korean one tastes so nasty. I would add lemon and honey to it to like my taste. And even then I was like, oh, I can barely down this, but I could feel it making me feel better. And maybe it's a placebo. I don't know, but it made me feel better after I drank it. I had two cups of it yesterday before I went to work. I was feeling fine. Like yesterday and today, I know I'm at the tail end of it because I like physically, I'm tired, but not to the extent that I was before. It's just that I don't have a voice and I'm coughing a lot. I had two cups of that tea and I was like, all right, I think I'm good to go. But yeah, stay hydrated, teas and water and, you know, like a little sports drink sort of thing is probably good. Um, Oh, and then the Chinese tea, um, as today was the first day I tried the ginger tea that was the Chinese one and it tastes better, but it doesn't feel as like, I don't feel it in my throat, you know, not burning, but it like this like warming sensation, like mint kind of that like tingly feel. Anyway, they're both fine though. And they're both doing the job. Like they both help. So yeah, a ginger tea is good. Also sad for me and for the other ice girlies if you're like me and you like ice and you drink I like ice water I don't like room temperature water I don't like it I think it tastes gross like I think it tastes worse it doesn't it's, it's water it's all water it tastes the same but I prefer to have ice in my drink but when you're sick not the best thing don't don't put ice in your drink it's gonna make your throat worse it just is or it's going to feel worse. I don't know if it's going to make it worse, but it'll feel worse. So just have the room temperature water. It can be cold. Just don't put ice in it. But, you know, also keep the warm liquids on deck. Lots of fluids. The more fluids you have, the easier it is. It's going to, when I, like, there's, like, scientific reasons behind it. Or at least from what I looked up, it was, like, the mucus is thinner. This is so gross. The mucus is thinner, so it's easier to get it out of your body. But, you know, it also is just good. It's going to help flush whatever needs to be flushed out faster. So, stay hydrated another basic tip stay warm stay warm um like I've got a long sleeve on now because I've got shorts on because it's still warm here but um got a long sleeve on but I always have socks on now just you know stay warm keep your body warm I think feet and neck are good places to try and keep warm I've got long hair anyway so it's not like it's super exposed but if I'm laying down for a long period of time, I put a scarf around my neck just to kind of keep it warm. I don't know if it really does anything, but it feels nice. And there have been times where when I wasn't sick, but I had, a, I had a sore throat, I would go to bed. I wouldn't wrap it around. I'm not trying to choke, like choke myself. Don't choke yourself when you're sleeping. But I would just lay it across the top of my neck, um, a scarf while I'm sleeping. I don't tend to move around a lot in my sleep. So if you do, like maybe don't do this because it's probably dangerous. But I just lay it across the top and that usually helps me not wake up with a sore throat. So I don't know if it really does anything, but keeping your neck and at least keeping your feet warm wearing socks, I think is going to be really helpful. Cough drops. Cough drops are really, really helpful. They're a lifesaver. Um, I like the Ricola ones. I like the like, there's like a lemon one and then like a honey, like a lemon honey one and an herb honey one or something. I like those two. But cough drops are nice. I had those. My mom bought this big box from Costco that's like a Manuka honey one. That one tastes really good. It helps a little. But the best one I have, and I have it with me, is this. I don't know if you can see it. It's this Chinese 
one. I got it from my bot John, so I don't know where you would get it. But it says Golden Throat Lozenge Herbal Supplement. And it's a green and blue packaging. And it has this lady on the top. And it's like these golden little things. And it smells so crazy it smells exactly what you like when you think chinese medicine you're like oh i wonder what i think this is what that would smell like it's what that's what it smells like that's exactly what it smells like and it is so strong for me my sister had one i guess she was sick and i should have known well she tried it and she said it wasn't that bad and that i was just being a baby about it but um it tastes not great the very first time i had it i really thought i was gonna spit it out that's how bad it was and then i had it again yesterday before work like i had it on my drive over I like stuck one in before I left the house it wasn't as bad as the first time I had it but it works oh my gosh it works so good and like as expected like of course it works it works so good so if you need something like obviously it didn't give me my voice back but there have been times where I woke up and I was like I am sick and I'm not gonna have a voice the next day and I took it and then my voice like my throat was fine within like a couple hours I'm not saying that's how it's gonna work every single time but um it's a good one I would suggest that one uh what else do I have written down brush your teeth brush your teeth and brush your tongue brush your teeth and brush your tongue I know that's so basic but when you're sick and you don't want to feel like doing hygiene stuff you got to I have other stuff okay brush your teeth and brush your tongue shower and change your clothes you don't need to change into outside clothes but change into some really comfy clothes or some extra pajamas that you've got or just a big slouchy shirt and some shorts not like jean shorts but like you know like comfy shorts or some sweatpants or some leggings change your clothes because if you're continuing to do that and do your skincare but do like your most basic skincare there were definitely days where I skipped it when I was feeling my worst but like but I still showered and I like I like I'll do double skincare because I do it in the morning and at night. I would at least do the nighttime one. But um, do those things because it will help you feel better. If you physically can do it and you're just like you feel like like I'm not saying to shower and do all of this when you physically cannot move. But if you're in a place where you're you you could do it but you're just like but I'm sick I don't want to j- get up and do it. It's going to make you feel so much better. I promise. And it'll, I, I don't know if it will help you recover faster, but I feel like it does because you're at least, you're getting rid of whatever you coughed all over the day before and you're putting it somewhere else. And, but yeah, brushing your teeth and brushing your tongue are like so important because like you got a bunch of germs in your mouth at all times. So you might as well take care of it. Um, and also I don't always do this, but since I was sick, I especially made sure to do this. You're supposed to brush your teeth before you like even drink water in the morning because there's so many germs in your mouth that harbor overnight you gotta clean it out so before I would drink any water before I I took any medication or anything in the morning I went and brushed my teeth and then I would drink water and take my whatever medication I was taking my last two things on my list of things that helped me was to get sunshine into your room I have like blinds in my room so I would open them every day in the morning yeah Um, And then there were also days where I had the window open. I would take Claritin first before I did this because of my allergies. But I would have the window open, but the blinds like only half, you know, to get some air, some fresh air in and some sunshine in when I could. And also the very last one is also gross. One of the probably the grossest one, which is spit out that mucus. When you're coughing and stuff's coming out, spit it out. Keep a tissue box by your bed. Keep a trash can with a bag in it. (laughs) so you can throw your stuff away don't let it get on the floor um oh also I guess Lysol Lysol spray spray keep things clean wash your hands frequently especially if you're going out and touching stuff like in a space where there's other people living be careful don't get them sick too just because you're sick but yes spit it out go to the bathroom spit it out in the sink wash it out wash your hands take that time to wash your hands too blow your nose if you blow your nose go wash your hands get it out get it out because the faster you get it out the faster you're gonna get better your body's trying to get rid of it for a reason so you gotta get rid of it don't swallow it back down or keep it in your body it's gross okay moving on two once you're oh 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 i lied not moving on just yet in terms of consuming things not just liquids soup if you're like me and you love soup because i love soup soup is good always chicken noodle soup I had vegetable soup and we had my mom makes a homemade chicken noodle soup that I love 
and sometimes she does it with noodles sometimes she does it without when she did it without I really loved eating um I did this when I was little too we put gohang we put rice in our soup but we would put gohang in our soup all the time when we were little and I love doing that now it makes it a little bit more filling so you're not just consuming like mostly liquids with like vegetables in it and chicken and it. it's easier to swallow you don't want to like irritate your throat so adding some rice is pretty good I didn't put it in my vegetable soup because I just didn't feel like it goes but then my mom was like it does go with it and I was like oh, I don't know so I didn't do that personally but you can you can put rice in whatever soup you have whatever broth you want just you know if you need to make it more filling I would do that because I tried like you would be like oh you do crackers and soup I did do that but I would cough every time I was eating a cracker so it was like not helpful and it made things worse um and then vitamin c and eat oranges because of vitamin c also they taste good it's a nice little dessert and it's like a hydrating dessert i guess there's liquid in it so oranges are good and then the vitamin c my mom was like you should be taking the pills and i was like oh whatever i have this um korean lemona packet there's different kinds um but it's just it's a powder you just like rip this open and then you just eat the powder like a pixie stick but it's um a little bit sour because it's vitamin C, but there's some sugar in there too. You can also just take the vitamin C, like the pill if you want, but I feel like that's not as fun. So that's not what I did. Should I have? Maybe, maybe then I would be better by now, but oh well. So when you're feeling a little bit better, and this is what I did yesterday, shower, change your clothes just as you have been, but now we're going to put on outside clothes or at least not pajamas you guys still keep the sweats, but put on like a different shirt. Like put on something that you wouldn't normally crawl into bed to. Like you don't want to be tempted to go back into bed just because you're feeling comfy. If you need to because you're like, oh no, I'm tired and I need the extra rest and you're able to, then go ahead and do that. But um, put on some outside some outside clothes. We're going to get dressed. Put on our outside clothes. Do your hair a little bit. Not anything crazy, but just a little bit. Do your makeup if you want to or don't if you don't want to, but at least put sunscreen on. Do your skincare and do your sunscreen. Always important. Um... I sweat, sweat it out a little bit. Sometimes doing some exercise helps and you'll feel better doing it. I should have this morning because I feel like I would feel better today if I did, but I didn't. Um, but yesterday before work, I was learning part of a K-pop dance just for fun because it was one I wanted to learn. And um, I sweat. I was only going to do it for like 20 minutes. I ended up doing it 30, 40 minutes. I wouldn't go over that. I got to a point where I was like, oh, I can't really breathe now and now I feel kind of worse. When you get to that point, maybe stop. That was That was far enough. We don't need to go any farther that day pull it back <laughs> but sweating it out a little bit is definitely going to help I think um and it'll just make you feel better and like you're doing better drink lots of tea like I said I had two cups of ginger tea yesterday and then I just had warm you can also just have warm water I don't think I said this just warm water is really nice too it's really soothing for your throat keep drinking lots of fluids during the day I kept I normally just take a bottle of water not a bottle but like I have a reusable water bottle and I just take water with me but I took Pocati sweat with me because I just feel like it's more hydrating. Um, is it? I don't know. But also it tastes good, so it made me want to drink it more. So there's that. Keep drinking lots of fluids. Keep cough drops on you if you need to. Um, and then also some last little things I did was while I... Because I don't go to work until like later in the afternoon. So in the morning I was doing all of this. And I also did my laundry. So I washed all of my stuffed animals... I washed all my bedding, like my big comforter. I washed my weighted blanket cover, my comforter, pillowcases, sheets. Like I washed everything, anything because I was coughing, you know, and I cover it because I'm supposed to, but also like I'm in bed and germs spread. So I was just covering everything I could. And while I was doing all of that, I had my window fully open. I was letting air in. I had my fan going like air out your room, air out your laundry, do your bed laundry, like just get everything cleaned up and then you at the end of the day will thank you because you're going to have some clean sheets while you're feeling a little bit better. And I honestly like, I'm still coughing now. By the time like I'm fully, fully recovered, it'll probably be about a week by then anyway. So I'll probably change my sheets again and air on my room again just to fully make sure it's gone. But yeah, air out your stuff and wash all of your stuff if you can wipe things down if you need to or spray things down with Lysol if you need to clean everything up while you're feeling a little bit better so that way you can kind of be recovering in what feels like a cleaner space I don't know if it's really actually helpful or if it's more of a mind thing but I think it definitely helped me so 
but I'm saying that and then I don't have my voice back and I'm still coughing. So, you know, like I said, take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. These are all mostly just basic tips and things to do. Um, but I don't know. I think sometimes we could all use a little reminder when we have sick brain and we can't think we've got brain fog going on. Um, but yeah, those are little things that really helped me. And oh, one last thing, don't just jump back into everything like at 110% when you're like, oh, I think I'm like recovering now. You're recovering. So take everything a little bit slower than you normally would. And then once you've given yourself a couple of days while you're recovering, then fully get back into the swing of things. Again, this is to the best of your ability. I know people have jobs or your parents or you're an older sibling and you're taking care of your younger siblings. You can't always have that luxury, but just to the best extent that you can do that. Um, Like I'm still going to bed earlier than I normally would just to let my body get some extra rest in. I'm letting myself sleep in longer than I normally would. If I'm working out, it's not as intense or I'm just doing stretching, you know, little things like that so you can ease back into a schedule and not. You don't want to make yourself sick again. I think that's also part of the reason I got sick in the first place is because I was working on this channel and also I had a short film I was working on at the same time that I turned in finally and the film festival is actually, well, by the time this goes up, it'll already have happened. But, um... So I was doing a bunch of stuff and so I think I like tired myself, like I did too much and I tired my body out and then stuff compounded on each other and I got sick. So don't do that to yourself, especially when you're recovering from just getting sick. Don't make yourself sick again. So try to take it easy to the best of your ability and to what your extent you're able to, um, just so that way you're really taking care of yourself. Um, It's really important to... Well, let yourself rest even when you're not sick. Rest is so important. I've talked about this in a, in a really old podcast, especially when I was talking about my um, headache and migraine condition that I'm dealing with. Rest is really, really important just in general, but especially when you're recovering or especially when you're sick. Like, don't feel guilty for resting. Don't feel like you're being lazy. You have to rest in order for your body to recover. Like, you have to imagine that, like, in your normal everyday life when you're not sick especially you're it's like you're you're walking you're doing your morning walk every single day and you're going about your life but when you're sick like physically your body is like running a marathon maybe you can walk and talk with your friend but if you're running a marathon it's going to be a lot harder to have a little gossip session with your friend that's what your body is doing like it's working really really hard to combat whatever is making you sick or not feel good and it's working really hard to do that same thing if you're someone who suffers with like chronic pain or like like when I get headaches, I have to remind myself like it's okay to take it slow because my body is working really hard to make sure that I'm still functioning and not just lying there doing nothing. Even when I'm lying there and doing nothing, my body is working really, really hard. Like it, it's running a marathon and you can't do everything that you would normally be able to do because your body's running a marathon right now. So you got to take it easy. You got to take a chill pill. You gotta rest and you gotta relax. Don't feel guilty about it. And of course, do it to your extent. I know that there's extenuating circumstances for everyone and there are certain times where you can take a break and then there are certain times where you just can't. So when you are able to, even if it's only for little increments of time, take breaks when you need to, but especially when you're sick. If you are able to, please rest. Please take care of yourself. Keep up your hygiene as much as you can. You know, all these little things, I think... If you're able to do the little things as much as you possibly can, it's going to help you recover faster. You're going to feel better about yourself and just feel better in general. Um, But it's okay to take rest days and take sick days and take time off when you need to because if your body is telling you it needs to take a break, then you should listen to it because you don't want to get to a point where you ignore it and ignore it and ignore it and ignore it and to the point where now like you're you're like working at an 8% you're like usually working at a 10 all the time and now you're only working at an 8 and that's all you're able to work at now because you've made your body so tired and you've told it to wait and hold on just a minute for so long that now it physically cannot function in the same way that it used to. So it's really important that you take time and rest for yourself but especially when you're sick take it easy do what you got to do rest um, and then even if you still have responsibilities, fulfill those responsibilities to the best of your, your ability in that moment. And if that just means doing the bare minimum, then that's what that means. And that's okay. You know, 
the last thing I'll say is I didn't forget. So this is for Peter and Wendy. You know who you are. Hi, I missed you guys this week. Sorry, I'm at um, a different school. Um, I hope you guys are doing really well. I hope all of you, all of my cast, um, all my little actors, my lost kids, my brave girls, my pirates, my siblings, and my um, nanny. I hope everyone, I miss you guys. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I don't know when I will be back. Hopefully, you'll see me this week when this podcast is going out. But um, if not, then I'll definitely see you at least in a couple weeks. Please listen to your teachers. (laughs) They're only doing what they know is best for you. Take care of yourself. Don't let yourself get sick. Rest when you need to. Don't stay up too late, okay? Um, But yeah. Anyway, for everyone else who's not my Peter and Wendy and not my cast, thank you for listening. I hope if you're feeling sick, you feel better soon. I hope I feel better soon. And if you're not feeling sick, I hope you don't get sick. Stay safe out there. Take care of yourself. Get some rest. And thank you for tuning in. And I will see you next time. Love, Michaela. Bye.